Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is why being single can be a really great thing. I've talked to many men and women over the years in my coaching business and just generally when I'm out and we talk about all sorts of different things about what happens in the dating world, what it's like to be single today. And there's so many people that are very sad, lonely, and more so frustrated because they're just not meeting their special person. Unfortunately, sometimes people go about it the wrong way. And it's really hard when you're feeling sort of dismissed or feeling like you just never meet anybody to go outside with a positive attitude. Because when you go out with friends or you think you might want to meet somebody, you're getting the same results over and over again. You're going home, you haven't really met anybody of, of anybody that you're really attracted to or interested in. But a lot of this can have to do with your mental mindset, what you're thinking, what you're putting out there. And a lot of people don't realize that when they're not meeting somebody on a continual basis, they are projecting that. And a lot of the times it's not just their thoughts, it's verbal, verbalizing it. And the trouble with this verbalization of something that's negative like this is not only does it sort of squash the people that you're talking to and, and sort of it basically squashes the conversation because you're upset about what isn't happening in your life. What should be going on when you go out and you're, you're socializing is just be so open to anything. You don't have to be with somebody. Being single does not define you. You have to take that out of your thinking because I know from talking to a lot of clients, this is what they think. It doesn't define you, trust me. When you go to a, a, a situation, a party or an event or something, and you see somebody that's single, do you look at them and say, oh my God, that poor person, they're here by themselves. They have no friends. They don't have a partner. Probably not because they're out confidently enjoying themselves. They're putting themselves into situations where not only does it evolve, make them evolve as a person because they're getting out, they're meeting new people, they're having fun. They might be doing something they don't normally do and they're just giving it a, a trial thing. A lot of the times we get stuck in our own head and that's the problem. We start thinking about how we're never going to meet anybody. It's a bitch out there dating. It sucks right now with all this stuff going on in the world, but we're all in the same boat. Like whether you're in a relationship or you're single, you're, everybody's feeling stuff right now. It's not that anyone is unscathed from dealing with the crap that's going on, but it's how you deal with it. It's really easy for someone like me to sit there and say, oh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Because I went through a lot of my own single crap for a long time. And I was a single mother on top of it. So that even adds to it. But the thing is, you want to be able to evolve as a person yourself. Sometimes we need to take a break from even thinking about it. From dating, from letting someone introduce us to somebody. Just take a break. Get to know you because when you're happy with what's going on in your life and who you are alone, when you stand alone, that's who you're projecting to a potential partner. But if you're not happy by being alone and being okay and comfortable in your own skin, you're going to continue to meet or not meet the right people. And this is one of the biggest problems when you go take time away and you have space to do whatever you want, whenever you want, that's a pretty powerful thing. You don't have to answer to anybody. You don't have to ask anybody if you can go do something. You're free to go and do what you want. Now, I'm not saying when you get in a relationship, you're trapped and you can't do anything at all. But this time when you're single and you're not dating anybody at all is the time to do everything to better yourself and to experiment with things that maybe a partner would, it would be more restricted. You couldn't just travel whenever you wanted to go somewhere. You couldn't just pick up and, and take off for a weekend to go do something with a girlfriend or a guy friend or, or whatever, have girls nights and guys nights, go to Vegas, do all these things. 
And that's kind of the thing about being single that is beneficial because it you don't have a lot of responsibilities at that time. I'm not saying you don't ever want to have them, but while you're dealing with it at that particular time and you're taking a bit of space and break from dating and just getting your head back into a better place of, okay, I know what I want. I know what I'm looking for. I'm not going to be down on myself because I don't have it. I'm going to go to a wedding. I'm going to go to an event and I'm going to be solo. I don't care because you know what? That shows confidence that you don't have to be glomming on to somebody beside you. You can walk into a room, talk to other people, regardless of whether there's somebody beside you or not. And when you get there, that will be when you're more of a whole person. That's who you are when you stand alone, as I said earlier. And that's the important thing about when you are single that you need to learn. Hey, I'm okay on my own. I'd sure be happier to be with somebody or I'd love to have a partner to share those things with, but you'll get there. You just have to get to know who you are first. And a lot of people don't. They want someone to, what's that, sh that movie, she completes me. They want someone to complete them. In a way, that's sort of a true phrase because if you're whole as a person, anybody that comes into your life is an extension of who you already are. So that is a good thing. But you don't want to be looking at a partner to be your life. And this is what a lot of people do and why a lot of people are lonely because they're not content with who they are. They need someone to make them feel whole. And that is when we choose the wrong people. We choose Mr. and Mrs. right now. We choose somebody, we settle because we're at a certain age or maybe we want to have kids now. So, okay, well, they're pretty good. You know, you don't want that. You want somebody who really truly is an extension of all the work you've already done on yourself. I mean, think about how great you'd be as a couple if that's the person you met and that's the person you should meet. If you are finding that you're stuck in this repetitive thinking pattern of, I'm not good enough to meet anybody. I'm not gonna meet anybody. There's nobody out there. I mean, those things, I'm sure as I'm saying them to you right now, you're saying, yeah, I do do that. And if you are doing that, you've got to change the conversation. Change it up to, I'm enjoying my time by myself. I'm meeting new people. I'm trying new things I'm passionate about. I'm excited to go to this event where I'm going to meet some new people. Take out the, that, that thought process of, Ugh, I don't want to go. I'm never going to meet anybody anyway, so what's the point? Everything you do in your life adds something of value. And it's really important to continue to do these things and to broaden who you are as a person because it makes you more interesting. It makes you more fun to meet. Plus, you're not sitting there thinking about being single all the time. You're having too much fun. And that's the real blessing of being single. You can do whatever you want. You get the whole bed to yourself. You know, there's all sorts of things that are great. And when you're ready, you can start dating again, but take your time. Don't jump into every single person and think, oh, this is the one, or, oh, that one didn't work out. I don't want to do this anymore. Who cares? Next. People want to meet somebody in one month and then be with them. It doesn't happen like that. It doesn't happen that way with your job. It doesn't happen that way necessarily with your friendships either. It takes time to develop some strong feelings and, and have a really great connection with somebody. So don't worry, don't put a time frame on it. Just enjoy yourself because I'm telling you right now, the more that you put yourself out there and have fun and don't care that you're single in the room, you're really gonna be the confident person standing there. Everyone's going to be attracted to your energy. And that just brings more and more people towards you. And more people that come towards you, they have friends, they have people they know that you might meet through them, and maybe you'll meet somebody who's really special one day. And you have a lot of things in common because they've also done their homework. And if you're attracting them towards you at this stage in your life, they're probably a pretty good person that's done the same homework that you've done. Because birds of a feather do flock together a lot of the time. So think about that. When you look at your life and what's going on, who are you hanging out with? Who are you 
Are you talking to other people who are depressed about not having a partner as well? Get yourself into different social circles that allow you to develop into, uh, uh, as I said earlier, a better version of yourself. And the one thing I did notice when I was single for long periods of time, I enjoyed myself. I got myself out because I had to. Sitting around at home isn't going to make me meet anybody. It's not going to make me feel better about myself. So it forced me to get out and do different things. And I found that the more I was content with being single was when I started to meet people. And so when this happens, you have a better chance of connecting with somebody that's great for you. But you have to be happy with who you are first. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments below. If you have any suggestions to help other people, I love it when you leave comments like that. Please subscribe to my channel and click like for the video. Thank you so much everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.